right y'all so i'm up here at uaf again the same place that has my truck and whatnot but waiting on uh washman g come over here and shake the baby back just gotta get me back in the game real quick i normally wash my car myself but this time i want him to go through it and just get it right because that's what he does so the man's got a flat right now he think he's right down the street at l m but as soon as he gets here I'm gonna get on this, but in the meantime, I'm gonna show y'all, give y'all a little update on the F-150, dude. UAF is the real deal, and I'm so pissed off at myself that I didn't take it here to begin with, but this is what we working with that get me back right, so. There she is. And I can't stress it enough at how mad, how mad I am at myself for not coming here to begin with, but new carpet. On yourselves to asked me if they if we wanted to replace my back glass because i had it leaking i don't know if you can see the duct tape up there but they got me back right with my window they actually dyno matted everything you know how our vehicle is supposed to be with some heavy base new carpet new amp rack it's no longer right here with that shipwreck wood and i'll put that in the video when i do the whole vlog on the rundown of the whole truck but man then people really try to fuck wires um, they got me a new alternator coming in. Here's one of the problems why the truck even went back in the shop. But as y'all can tell, that is not a fucking alternator bracket. <laughs> Story short, um, when I got the truck back, <clears throat> uh, I was having some voltage issues. So I took it. Wait, no. Scratch that. Wasn't having that. That's later on. But when I got in the truck one day and I went to go drive it I noticed my power steering wasn't working so I was like what the hell I thought a power steering pump or something went out I was like no way it could be something related to the the stereo system I was wrong um so what had happened was they hadn't they didn't put tweed shop on three notch they did not connect they didn't put my alternator bracket on so my alternator was leaning forward and eventually the belt flew off so you know get one of my mechanics and he just fabbed something up just so i can get it down the road to get it here but there there was nothing up here and my alternator was just it was not hooked up right and that's not even an aftermarket alternator i think that might be like a good little 120 amp one 135 amp or something stupid like i need like 300 shout out to ace over here at uaf video don't even do it justice but this is a little sneak peek for y'all haven't seen nothing on this truck in a minute i don't think they finished yeah they didn't finish this one yet but they're gonna dine on my everything the front doors are already done but man it looks so much better though with the new seats new material oh and they stamped the uaf thing on there Oh, and my rock lights and all the lights in here and everything are going to be operated off of these panels right here on my center console. I'm so sorry. Uh -huh. Like a three-level amp rack. It's insane. Oh, and if anybody plans on swapping their interior out in their truck or car or whatever, I highly recommend cat skin. That's where this material came from for my seats. Whew. Super excited. Mm, mm, mm. I try to make this black blend in the best as I could with going with tan stitching, but we'll see. Definitely when I get a new steering wheel. But, you know, if I start going into that, I might as well get a dash, all my door panels, and headliner. The headliner, I think, is still tan, which I feel like is stupid. So, I'm just going to have to go through it. But, yeah, man. This is it for now. I can't wait to have this baby back on the street.
They said that they're shooting to have me ready by Christmas. So if that happens, boy, it's going to be a good holiday season. Do you hear me? Surprise, surprise. My boy, Big hey, Joe. Hey, Echo, turn it up! Man G itself. Y'all go fill out that man. I'm gonna put his his name right here. You gonna get me right though. Don't be seeing the vision, G. Yes, sir. G put me back in the game. So being that, you know, most of the time from now, about a month ago until about February, I will be in the shop. She definitely needed a, a good little wash up, a good little spot, A. Eh? So shout out to Washman G for getting me right, man. One of the few people I'll let test this car. My boy even even cleaned up my calipers. It's the details that matter, bro. I'm telling you. Let's go. Mm -hmm. But I know what y'all are here to see. We'll get into the little sneak peekage of uh the go fast parts. So we got some Kong go fast parts and some radium go fast parts. 
Um, if you know, you know. If you, <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay. New IIT center extension. That's super clutch. Oh, those are sweet. Yeah, that's a little bit better than that old shit you got on the car now, right? Nice tubular parts. Alright, so just be careful when there's parts in there. You can see it? Yeah. Okay, so Alright, we'll just set that back. Right, so this is the adjustable proportioning valve for the brake system now, so you'll have a third bank mm -hmm. adjustment. Purchase, purchase, purchase.